Hello, you are welcome to Master T Math Lab. Here, let's solve this nicely one time equation. To find the value of x and y here, from the law of indices, when we have a raised to the power m minus n, this is the same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. So now let's apply this here, and this can be written as 9 raised to the power x over. 9 raised to power 9 then minus equally here we have 9 raised to power y over 9 raised to power 9 then equals to 6560 on this side then next we have this then we can bring it together SCN is still 9 raised to power 9 and here we still have 9 raised to the power x then minus here we still have 9 raised to the power y then which is equals to 6560 on this side then next we can multiply both sides by 9 raised to the power 9 also we multiply this side by 9 raised to the power 9 then we have this now cancel out from here and this we can write this as 9 raised to power x minus 9 raised to power y now equals to 9 raised to power 9 times 65 I mean 6560 here then in the next step if this is the equal here and this is a positive number it implies that this also will be a positive number if this is a positive number now this indicates that 9 raised to power x should be greater than 9 raised to power y for this to be positive and which also means that x has to be greater than y then if x is greater than y then let's write x in terms of y and let's say x is equals to y plus the starting number where k here is an integer where k is an integer so from here this will give us this particular equation now we can write it again and we have 9 raised to power y plus k now then minus 9 raised to power y then equals to 9 raised to power 9 times 6560 yeah. then next from the law of indices when we have a raised to power m plus n we can write this as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. And let's work this here, and this will become 9 raised to the power y times 9 raised to the power k minus 9 raised to the power y equals to 9 raised to the power n times 6560. Yeah? Then next, we have 9 raised to the power y common here. So we have 9 raised to the power y out into bracket. 9 raised to the power k left here, then minus 1 will be left here, equals to 9 raised to the power 9 times 6560 from here. Then what we have here now, we can equate this and say 9 raised to the power y equals to 9 raised to the power 9 and 9 raised to the power k minus 1 equals to 6560 from here then here we have seen this and uh, we can equate the power and y equals to 9 from here then on this side we can take minus 1 here and we have 9 raised to power k now equals to 6560 plus 1 which becomes 6561 and also 
we can express this in base length that this length is super k now is equals to 9 raised to the power 4 as length multiply itself 4 times it will give us 6561 then also the base are equal here and k here will be equal to 4 now we should recall that we let x be equals to y plus k so which implies that here x will be equals to 9 plus 4 and uh, x will be equals to 13 so we have x to be equals to so therefore we have x to be equals to 13 and y to be equals to 9 from this problem now to check if this satisfies the given equation from what we have which is 9 raised to the power x minus 9 then minus 9 raised to the power y minus 9 is this which is equal to 6560 here now let's substitute the values of x and y so here we have 9 raised to the power 13 minus 9 then minus 9 raised to the power here we have 9 minus 9 is this equal to 6560 here then 9, 13 minus 9 here 14 so i mean 4 9 raised to the power 4 minus here 9 minus 9 is 0 9 raised to the power 0 is equal to 6560 here then 9 raised to the power 4 now multiply itself 4 times so that gives us 6561 then 9 raised to the power 0 here is 1 which is equal to 6560 here then when you subtract here we have 6560 which is equal to 6560 here so we have left hand side equals to the right hand side and here we can conclude that x equals to 13 and x equals to 9 satisfies this given problem so what we have here will now be x equals to 13 and there we have x equals to 9 from here so this is the end of this class and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe to this channel and turn the notification bell on and if you have a comment put it in the comment section and support this channel share this video you know give a thumbs up and thank you see you next class and bye for now